In today's lesson, I am going to teach you a super useful grammar structure that will take your English to the next level. In today's lesson, we will learn how to speak in casual situations and in business, all with this one grammar structure, the first conditional. Let's go. In today's lesson, we are going to study the first conditional. Now, don't worry. This is just a fancy grammar name. The first conditional is an if sentence, an if sentence. If sentences are so useful because we can use them in regular conversation, but also it's commonly used in business. If you can master how to use if, you will sound more like a native speaker. So let's get started. There are many types of if sentences. Today, we are going to practice the first conditional. So we're going to practice only one type of if sentence. In today's sentence, we will be practicing this grammar form. So try to remember this form. In today's lesson, our sentences will follow if plus a subject plus the present tense verb. Then there's a comma. Then we're going to have another subject again. Next, we're going to use will, will plus a main verb. Okay, so one more time, if plus a subject plus a present tense verb, comma, subject, will, and verb. Now, today we are mainly going to use will, but there are other verbs you could use. You can use can, you can use must, you can use should. But today's lesson, we are going to focus only on will. So what does this type of sentence mean? So we've got the first part of the sentence. This is called the condition. So that means if this happens, if this condition happens, then next we have our next action. So for example, if a happens, if this happens, then B, I will do B. I will do this action. For example, let's make an example sentence. If it snows, I will make a snowman. If it snows, I will make a snowman. So, the first part is the condition. So if it snows, if that happens, if the snow falls, if the snow happens, what will I do? What is my next action? I will make a snowman. Have you ever made a snowman? I love snow. I love winter. I love making snowmans. If you do too, please tell me down below. Let's look at another example. If we hurry, we will catch the train. If we hurry, we will catch the train. So first we have the condition. The condition means if we hurry. So if this happens, if we hurry, if this action happens, then my next action is we will catch the train. We will catch the train. Now, one thing I want everybody to understand is one of the common mistakes with this grammar is many people will say, if we will hurry, we will catch the train. So we put will and will. In both, both sections, we put will and will, okay? This is 
wrong. It's incorrect. In the if part of the sentence, we never put the word will. Will is only in the second clause. It's in the next action. So if we hurry, okay, there's no will here. If we hurry, we will catch the train. Okay, let's look at one more example. If I am hungry, if I am hungry, that is the condition. If that happens, what will I do? For me, maybe go to a restaurant, go to a restaurant. So if I am hungry, I will go to a restaurant. Or maybe if I am hungry, I will cook something. If I am hungry, I will cook something. So we've got the present tense at the beginning and then we have will in the second half of the sentence. All right, so do you understand this grammar? Do you have any questions? If you do, don't worry, you can ask them down below. Also, while you're at it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. Okay, let's practice making these sentences now. We'll do these together so you can get a good idea of how to make the sentence. This is your first challenge. In this section, I will give you the beginning of the sentence. I will make the if part of the sentence. Then I'll give you some information. Please use that information and finish the sentence. For example, let's go back to one of my earlier sentences. So I will start the sentence. So I will say, if it snows, if it snows, then I'm going to put the word snowman. I want you to use this word, use snowman to finish the sentence. So in this example, my sentence will be, if it snows, I will make a snowman. If it snows, I will make a snowman. Okay, so now it's your turn. I'm going to give you the beginning of the sentence. Then I will give you a hint. I'll give you a word. Please use that word and finish the sentence. In the second part of the sentence, you have to use will. But also, please think of the main verb, will plus verb. So you think of the verb using my information. Okay, so number one. Beginning of the sentence is, if it rains, if it rains. And I want you to use the word umbrella in your answer. Please use the word umbrella. All right, my sentence is, if it rains, I will buy an umbrella. If it rains, I will buy an umbrella. That is one answer. There are many answers to this sentence. For example, maybe another answer is, if it rains, I will use an umbrella. If it rains, I'll use an umbrella. All right, so if you have a different answer, that is okay. Just leave it down below. Comment down below with your answer and I will definitely check all of them. Number two, beginning part of the sentence is, if I see a shooting star, if I see a shooting star. All right, so I want you to finish the sentence 
And please use the word wish. Wish. Okay, remember, you have to think of the verb that goes with this. All right, so please make a sentence. All right, my sentence is, if I see a shooting star, I will make a wish. If I see a shooting star, I will make a wish. Okay, the last one, the last one in your challenge. My sentence begins with, if I am tired. And I want you to finish the sentence using bed. Complete the sentence using bed. So if I'm tired, and please use bed. Okay, my sentence is, if I'm tired, I will go to bed. If I'm tired, I will go to bed. Okay, so how did you do with that challenge? Were you able to make some sentences? Were you able to make conditional sentences? I hope so. If it was a little bit difficult, please try again and leave your answers down below and I'll check them. You know, I will always check all of your answers and help you to improve your English to go to the next level. Okay, let's move to the active part of this lesson. Let's move to the speaking part. This is your chance to speak English. Here, you can make conditional sentences. You can make your if sentences. I am going to put some information on the screen. I want you to use the information and make an if sentence. This time, I'm not going to begin the sentence for you. I want you to make the whole sentence. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so number one, we have the information late for work and taxi. Late for work and taxi. Please make an if sentence. My sentence is, if I am late for work, I will take a taxi. If I'm late for work, I'll take a taxi. Number two, please use this information. We have, she finish work early. And we have movie. She finish work early and movie. Please use that information and make a sentence. My sentence is, if she finishes work early, she will go to a movie. If she finishes work early, she'll go to a movie. So here, make sure you said finishes. Remember, the beginning is the present tense. So if she finishes work early, then we use will. She will go to a movie. Now remember, if you have a different answer, just leave it down below. Okay, so now, number three, four, and five, I will not give you the verbs. You must think of which verb to use in this if sentence, all right? So it will be a little bit more difficult. Number three. We have the information sick and doctor, sick and doctor. And you can use the subject I, I. Okay, so my answer is, if I am sick, I'll go to a doctor. If I'm sick, I'll go to a doctor. Number four, we have the words sunny and beach. Sunny and beach. What is your if sentence?
My sentence is, if it is sunny, I will go to the beach. If it is sunny, I will go to the beach. And number five, last one, we have they, Paris, and sightseeing. Please use this information and make an if sentence. All right, my sentence is, if they go to Paris, they will go sightseeing. If they go to Paris, they will go sightseeing. Okay, so how did you do? Were you able to make five conditional sentences, five if sentences? If those were difficult or if you have a different answer, just rewatch the video and leave your answers down below. And if you think this lesson was useful, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. It would be a huge help for my channel. All right, so I'm always posting videos, so make sure you check out all of the past ones and the future ones. And I will be making another conditional lesson, the same conditional, first conditional, but I will make it a little bit more difficult, so make sure you watch out for that. All right, until the next lesson. See ya. Thank you very much for watching today's lesson. Today we practice if sentences. We practice the first conditional. If you think this lesson was useful, please subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell. Until the next lesson, see ya.